YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video, or I should say a Destiny video, even a Destiny 3 video, because we have a ton of stuff to talk about, and this one's going to be a long one. Now, normally over the weekends, every like two or so weeks, I do what's called Ask Mesa, and technically, this is uh, Ask Mesa number 40. What I do is I post on the community wall, I say, hey guys, I want to do another episode of Ask Mesa, and you guys chime in with questions, and then I answer them in the video. Well, this is that video, however, a number of the questions are all related to Destiny 2, Destiny 3, and also, well, what's going on with the game right now, so I figured, you know what, this is just a straight up Destiny 2 video, even though we will talk about non-Destiny stuff in it. So, let's get into it, guys, let's answer your questions, and if you enjoy it, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, as I always point out, 61 or so percent of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed, so what are you waiting for? Kindly hit that subscribe button, we are at 295,000 subscribers as of tonight, Saturday, but I'm going to put this video up uh, first thing Monday morning. All right, enough of my babble. Let's get into your questions. Shadowcaster here says, if you have answered this already, supply video, okay? But can you confirm whether or not Air Apparent will be added to the random loot pool after Guardian Games? I am new here, by the way, and I've been loving what I've seen so far. Well, thank you very much for being here. I can't confirm it, but I can say with 99% probability that, yeah, it will be added to the loot pool at some point when we don't know and I say this because we had weapons like the exotic Thunderlord the exotic Arbalist which were quest weapons and then once the quests were over well I think a season or two later they appeared as random drops so if you don't get it this time around don't worry you'll eventually be able to get it next up we have Monsieur Tuggy Wuggy uh, what was your moment when you realized that Destiny was the game for you and a game you wanted to play it had to be during the Destiny 1 Alpha when I logged in heard that music I mean musician so I was roped in immediately and you'll hear some questions about music and also if you check out my Instagram Mesa underscore Sean also lots of musical posts um, once I heard the music and felt the gameplay uh, I was completely hooked immediately a big catch for me is at the time I've never played a game where I never felt alone in most games, and I'm generalizing here, you're usually playing a single-player co-op game, so it's you by yourself, or you're playing like a multiplayer type of game. For myself, I'd never played a type of game where, hey, I'm out and about on patrol here, and there's patrols, there's public events, or I'm doing strikes, and I'm seeing other people who are doing the same thing I'm doing. Or I'll be on a patrol, and all of a sudden a public event will spawn in, and I see other people, and we're all working together to try to complete the public event. To me, that was a huge attraction because you never felt alone. And playing single-player co-op games, I mean, for myself personally, they got a little boring sometimes if I didn't really get into the story. And non-stop multiplayer games, they got kind of boring too, at least for me. Next one came from the channel member Discord. If you're interested in becoming a channel member, click the link at the top of the description, or click join on screen. We have uh, crushed you last time says for your video you're making when the game becomes slow like it is how do you stay positive and still play also was there a time when you thought about leaving the game alone completely well it comes from my upbringing you know I grew up with an ex-navy half Irish half Maltese really strict glass half empty dad okay and he he's still a total negative Nancy to this day everything the world's gonna collapse in any moment and seems like it is right now but everything to him is like it's never gonna work out you're never gonna amount to anything and so forth I've always just chosen to live my life the complete opposite and for me it's worked out because you know I took a lot of leadership classes when I worked in medical device sales right and when you focus on the negative things, you get sucked into them. But when you focus on the positive things, it takes you away from the negative stuff because the negative stuff's always going to work itself out, okay? There's, that's just been proven. But if you focus on the goal, if you focus on the positivity in something, um, your energy will just transfer to that and you'll eventually reach that goal or whatever it is. So I kind of apply that to my YouTube channel, to my career, and to this game. And as for... Um, leaving the game no because you know what I just look at Bungie's track record man we go through this every single year when we have a dry spell yeah we go through a dry spell and I encourage people when like when we go through a dry spell player the games you know if you're burnt on destiny play something else for a little bit 
Bungie has a track record that usually the summers are always really kicking off and a lot of fun. And then the fall, they usually drop an epic expansion. And that was some crazy comments I got on the Zer video and Thursday's news video about comparing Forsaken to uh, Shadowkeep. And which one did you prefer? Let me know in the comments of this video, Shadowkeep or Forsaken. Moving on to Ryan, longtime channel member. He's got his little Mesa Fail two-year icon. And man, thank you for the support this long. Mesa, I've always been interested in playing guitar and decided that I want to pursue it as a hobby. Any advice for someone who doesn't know a lick about music? I'm looking at an acoustic guitar right now. Well, Ryan, good news for you because you picked the greatest time, 2020, where you've got the greatest guitar teacher ever to grace the earth, and that is YouTube. Uh, back when I learned guitar, I had to self-teach myself, and it was all through what's called tablature books, where you'd have an album that you would like, you'd buy the book, and it would show you these lines called tablature, and it would show you where to put your fingers, and it would teach you the names of the chords and so forth, and then from there, you just naturally learn what the names of all the chords are and how to strum and how to pick and all that sort of stuff but with YouTube um, every single guitar lesson uh, available is on YouTube and any band that you like or song that you like someone has a YouTube video on how to play it electric guitars are way easier to play than an acoustic guitar but I feel like everyone that starts out initially should play on an acoustic first because it is much harder so I would just go pick up an acoustic from a local guitar center or local guitar shop when they're finally open I know all the guitar shops near me are all closed pick up a cheap one don't buy an expensive one P you could pick up one for under a hundred bucks you can even get one used for I don't know probably like 50 bucks and just start from there get the acoustic even to tune the guitar just look up uh, guitar tuner on YouTube and it'll teach you how to tune the guitar super simple next up we have Gene Hammond do you think XP is easy enough to get for casual players I'm gonna say yes and no I'm gonna say it's really not a fun player experience probably not for the casual Casuals, because I would say a casual, you've got limited time, so you want to maximize your time, and is it really fun to go to, well, certain vendors who are going to provide the most XP and just do those boring bounties, and that's why in the last This Week at Bungie, they're looking to kind of move away from that, or at least it seems like it. We need to know some more details as we move forward throughout the uh, year. However, I do think Bungie did set it up like that on purpose, because we do have the rank system. You want to get to rank 100 if you're a casual player anyway, and get all the rewards, but at the same time, it's just not a fun player experience only doing bounties, not experiencing other core gameplay things within the game. JW says, how is your dog doing? Good old Max my little wire coat rescue Jack Russell Terrier. He's doing great. Um, you're probably asking because about a month ago he had surgery to have bladder stones removed. He's been fine since then. And actually his birthday is uh, this month, May 26th. So um, if you want to wish him a happy birthday, wish him a happy birthday in the comment section. Say happy birthday, Max. But if you want to see pictures of him, well, more pictures. I got a million of them on my Instagram. But yeah, he's doing well. And you know what? He's turning 14 on the 26th. And you would never know it because, I mean, Jack Russell Terrier is they're insane, man. He's, he's a rescue, and uh, he is very, very anxious. He's He doesn't like anyone except myself and my parents, but uh, he runs around like a little crazy dog. I mean, he still has so much energy, and um, as I said many, many times, uh, I might have rescued him, but he has rescued me several times over. Love the little man. Matthew Triplett says, do you say out of here like Vladimir in reference to Vladimir Rasputin? Oh, by the way, love your collections of ESP. That is my favorite guitar maker as well. That's all I play. Keep on rocking. Well, you have great taste there because uh, I'm obsessed with ESP guitars, but I do have one Gibson Les Paul custom shop aged. No, that just stems from us, you know, growing up in Queens, New York. We were just kids from the streets, you know, riding the subway, taking the bus, getting into trouble and uh that's just how we spoke you know um we'd say something like uh out like trout or i'm out of here like last year and i once said it at the end of a video and i thought it was kind of funny and i think some of you guys like it and some of you don't because some of you leave me some nasty comments will you stop saying that and i don't know i i think I like it, so I'm going to keep using it. Next question, Team Teachar, if you had to pick only one loadout to use, what would it be? Well, I'm going to throw the question back to the comment section. Throw in the comment section, what's your one loadout that you would have to use? But for me, it's going to be Top Tree Dawnblade. 
and I'm going to use my beloved Outbreak Perfected. I'm going to use my Summoner. It's not the greatest roll, but it's got Moving Target, Rampage, and a Range Masterwork, and 21% Delirium, and I'm going to use Ophidian Aspect because I am a Panic Reloader. I think I'm the only person on PC that uses Outbreak Perfected because any activity I do within the game, I never ever see anyone on PC using Outbreak Perfected because I know there's better weapons, but I love the fun factor of Outbreak Perfected. I love the way it looks, I love the way it sounds, and I love all of the nanites spawning as I clear ads. I love the summoner just because I love auto rifles, and man, 21% delirium. You know, Hammerhead was my go-to for my machine gun. I am more obsessed with machine guns than anything for my heavy slot, but 21% uh, delirium, not having to reload, and when you put on all the scavengers and also reserves and things for machine guns, yeah, um, I love 21% delirium. Okay, let's answer three questions that all kind of tie in with each other. So from Woozy, uh, what do you think about all the leaks that have popped up about the content to come? I've made three videos on those, so make sure you check those out. Annotated on screen and linked in the description. Uh, we have Lava Lamp. Do you think darkness subclasses will be a thing? And then Ivan, you've got a loaded question here, and yeah, you say loaded question enough what are your expectations for the final dlc and destiny 3 what do you what final dlc and destiny 3 what do you hope to see what do you want changed and how do you think bungie should handle the quote final installment of the game slash franchise so with regards to the first question yes i did videos on all of them and i feel like some of them some of the stuff and i said in every video grain of salt and i got flamed for saying that too many times I feel like um, some of it probably is true, and some of it is probably just things that we have uh, seen leak before and embellished on, or some things that we would just like to see. Either way, they're fun to go over. Um, in terms of a darkness subclass, I think it's inevitable. I don't know if the lore hints at it or not, but we've been hearing about a darkness type subclass for a very long time. I think this fall would be the perfect opportunity. It's been two years since we had a new subclass, and with the pyramids coming, and I think, yeah, I think we're going to get a darkness subclass. And the leaks do allude to that and say that, but then the, uh, let's see, the final leak video I did about a week ago said there that they said, actually, they're, that they're dropping the darkness uh, subclasses to fine-tune the current subclasses that we have now. I hope that part is not true. And Ivan, as to your final DLC and Destiny 3 question, Here's the deal, guys. Um, I don't think financially we're going to get Destiny 3 for a long time. And I'm just totally speculating here. I don't have any insider knowledge or anything like that. You know, look, um, when they had a publisher, right, that, that obviously gives them a lot of money. And this stuff's expensive, guys. Um, you know, to get new strikes, to get new stories, to get campaigns, to get uh, cutscenes, all of that stuff costs so much money. Now, I know we all bashed the hell out of Activision when they were with them and that they were the bad guys and that they were causing problems with the games and yada, yada, yada. But the bottom line is, you know, they were able to fund, I think, a lot of the content within the game. So with that being said, I don't think we'll get a Destiny 3 for a very long time unless they get another publisher or they make a lot of money off of just being an independent studio. And that comes from, well, people buying DLCs, people buying season passes, people buying the Eververse stuff. And I, no one seems to be a fan of the Eververse stuff, although if I do see a really cool ornament, I will drop the silver on it. But, you know, I, I don't know how much money they make off Eververse or the DLCs, how profitable it is, how much goes back into R&D, research and development. They did get $100 million from a company in China called NetEase, and they, uh, I think they specialize in like mobile games or something like that. Regardless, they gave them $100 million, and I think I read that they also now have a seat on the board of directors or something like that. So um, where is that money going? Is it going into the new IP that they're working on called Matter? Is it going back into the Destiny franchise? I am hoping it's going back into the Destiny franchise. And as we saw in the original Vidoc for Shadowkeep, we saw on their board there, well, year one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it went all the way up to year seven within Destiny 2. So I think more than likely, we're not going to see Destiny 3 for a while. I think at some point we will see it. It just all depends financially on how they do as a company. Until then, I think they're just going to keep making DLCs and expanding on Destiny 2. But as for a final DLC and then Destiny 3, uh, a final DLC I don't think is going to happen for a long time. And hopefully next year, uh, hopefully we get this fall expansion with regards to the pyramids and the new enemy races. And uh, the leaks are all true that they're taking Destiny 3 content plans 
brand and bringing it into Destiny 2. I hope that all comes true. Well, I hope that makes them a boatload of money. If you're a subscriber of mine, well, you obviously love this game. I love this game. So we should be rooting for Bungie. We should be rooting for that they do make a lot of money because we need them to make a lot of money if we want this franchise to continue and continue to be the best that it can be. I still am Mr. Positive Pete and think that every year things get better and of course every year during the spring we do go through a dry season. Happens every single year like clockwork. I never understood the mindset of some of the tweets that I get or even some of the comments who play the game a ton but then just say horrific things about Bungie and the developers and um, are very entitled. I'm sorry. Uh, not all of you guys but I will say I do see a lot of entitlement out there. Especially when I see comments like the next DLC or next season should should be completely free because I didn't like this particular season. Doesn't work out like that, man. Look, dare to fail. You ever heard that term? Dare to fail, all right? They have to try new things in order to see what works and what doesn't work. And in my humble opinion, um, each DLC expansion has been better than the last. I know uh, a lot of you guys disagreed with me on the whole Shadow Keep versus Forsaken thing. I don't want to get into it again, but leave me a comment in the comment section. Which one do you like better, Shadow Keep or Forsaken? I still am keeping a tally because I do want to make a video on it. And that is going to do it for this video, guys. If you did stick around to the end, or even if you just stuck around to a minute or two, leave me a good old hashtag made it to the end. If you did make it to the end, um, if you'd like to become a channel member, click the link or click join on screen. We've got an awesome Destiny 2 Mesa Army community over on Discord, and the channel members set up an awesome Destiny 2 clan over on Discord. All right, guys, drop a like on this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually, you know it's on YouTube, and that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir.